Well, uh, we've had a pretty tough schedule, and Miami is probably the most athletic team that we've faced, uh, one through five. The guys are very agile and athletic. They play above the rim, and it's hard to defend that level of athleticism matched with the skill level that they also play with. He's talked about Bruce Brown for Miami, had a triple-double in his first career triple-double, and an wow. athlete like, like you're talking about, he's talked about his quickness, his shot, just to be able to distribute the ball? Well, you know, anytime you have a triple-double, that's a heck of a night. Um, we were really keyed on Newton and um, Reed. And for Brown to come in and uh, put up the numbers that he did, I thought he was very efficient. You have two turnovers in 30 minutes. I thought he found people in their comfort zone uh, with his assist. His rebounding surprised us, you know, going to the glass. But again, it speaks to his level of athleticism and guys finishing plays. You know, I don't think we gave a lot of resistance. Anytime a team has 36 points in the paint, you got to question, okay, were you – in the right defensive positions. And, you know, I believe that their penetration, we were helping up again with their length. They're throwing it over the top for lobs. I thought, I can't pronounce number four's last name, but I thought he shot the ball probably the best he shot it all year. And uh, when you throw it out to him and he's knocking down shots, it's a tough guard. And then talk about J.J. Richardson for you guys. Only at one point in the game, didn't hit a single shot before coming off that 25-point perform uh, performance. Is it the Miami defense or is she just having a hard night? Um, you know, I'm not sure. Uh, I noticed that. I noticed at halftime that he was an offer from the field. Uh, when he's hot, he's hot. And when he's off, he's off. Uh, right now, you know, we need more points for him. I believe he might be our second leading scorer. He had 25 the other night in a non-Division one game. But he scored in ways that you think it would translate over to whoever you play. And tonight, you know, he started off bad and – He's a volume guy, and when shots don't go in early, sometimes it can mean, you know, a bad night for J.J. So he's got to grow from that and uh, just mature as a basketball player, and we expect better things from him down the road. Coach, if you didn't talk about it before, you're going to talk about it. Uh, just the first 10 minutes or so, I mean, they started off with that. Was the team just hesitant? Or was it cool? You know, I have to go back and look at the tape at the beginning, but we – identified that if we didn't box out, okay, and we allowed them to get paint touches either off the dribble or passing it into the paint, it can be a long night for us. If I'm remembering right, they did so many things good at the beginning of the game. I believe they had several offensive rebounds, and they got second chance points right there at the beginning of the game, and it kind of killed our spirit. You know, I didn't think eight to nothing would be that big of a mountain. Uh, Miami has let teams back in games this year. Uh, we talked about that during our scouting report. And they were just able to, you know, keep their distance from us. And we were probably never in the game after that 8-0, you know, run to start the game. I believe it might have got up to 18-0, to didn't it? Yeah, 18-0. to So you can't beat the YMCA Bullfrogs. You give them an 18-point start. And uh, against an ACC opponent, you definitely will have a hard time climbing back into the game with a start like we had. The shot selection at that third going, was it something that you know, uh, upset you? Was it the shots were good? I, I thought we got great looks by the people that we want to shoot the ball. But when you don't have someone to go offensive rebound like the Hurricanes have, we were getting one shot and that was it. Uh, Any time that you get multiple shots in a possession, it's hard to, you know, it's hard to beat a team that you allow. How many offensive rebounds did they have? 13 for the night uh, and was probably had eight of them in the first half. So it's hard to beat a team when you go this many levels up, when you allow second chance points and points in the paint like they had. And I believe that's a big part of the game tonight.